very very good evening to all of you i am dr manju i have completed my doctorate degree in chemical sciences from swami bhava national institute mumbai affiliated with bhava aromatic research center mumbai in my today's video i would like to discuss about human heart we know human heart is a part of class 7 ncert science book chapter 11 transportation in animals and plants and human heart is also a part of class 10 science book chapter 6 life processes and we can say human heart is a part of circulatory system before coming to the discussion part i would like to discuss why i am motivated to being a teacher so first point is everyone who has acquired knowledge during the study that can be delivered to different students or to many students by a teaching method that is a one point and second that is most important point is teaching is a field that is enhance your own knowledge also even a single topic of teaching makes you up a step higher in the knowledge stair so now this is all about motivation for being a teacher for me now come to discussion part discussion part we are discussing about human heart human heart is a body organ and which beat continuously acts like a pump and during the pumping system what the heart pumps heart pumps for the transport of the blood which carry other substances with it means this heart continuously pump to transport blood and also transport food oxygen carbon dioxide from one part of body to various other body parts and this human heart work like a non stop pump here we can see how the human heart is pumping continuously now let's learn about heart where it is located heart is located in the chest cavity with its lower tip slightly tilted toward the left side if you hold your finger and make it fist you can see the heart is roughly the size of your fist and it's appear like your fist now study about the structure of human heart here we can see the diagram of the human heart human heart is made up of the four chambers the two upper chambers they are called the atria or we can see here this is the left atrium this is right atrium this is left ventricle and this is right ventricle the wall of the heart are made from cardiac muscles cardiac muscles never get tired like other body muscles and here we can see the partition this is the septum partition between the heart chamber this partition helps to avoid the mixing of the oxygen rich blood with the blood that is rich in carbon dioxide now try to understand the functions of the heart how the heart pumps the blood or other food particles oxygen co2 or we can say other substances along with the blood so mainly there are the two kinds of the blood vessels which are associated with the circulatory system first is artery artery are the blood vessels which are carrying heart which are carrying blood from heart to different body parts arteries are the blood vessels which are carrying blood from heart to different body parts and veins veins are the blood vessels which are bringing blood from different body parts to the heart so here to understand the functions of the circulatory system we are starting from the right side here we can see this is the superior vena cava that this is the vein which is bringing blood from upper part of the body and this is the inferior vena cava bringing blood from lower side of the body because blood is bringing from the body parts so this is the carbon dioxide rich blood here we can see opening of both these uh, veins or vena cava is in this right atrium the blood then 
transport it to the right ventricle here so here we can see this is the carbon dioxide rich blood and this blood has to be transported to the lungs where gases exchange will take place so the blood vessels which are carrying this carbon dioxide rich blood to the lungs these are the arteries because arteries are the blood vessels which are carrying blood from heart to different body parts so here this is carrying carbon dioxide rich blood to the lungs so name of these arteries pulmonary artery here we can say this is the left pulmonary artery that is taking blood to left lung and this is the right pulmonary artery which is taking blood to right lungs after that in the lungs gases exchange will take uh, and gases exchange will occur then after that blood become oxygen rich and that oxygen rich blood will come to the heart and we know the blood vessels which are bringing blood from different body parts to the heart are the veins so here the blood oxygen rich blood is supplied from the lungs to the heart and these are the pulmonary veins these are the right pulmonary veins and these are the left pulmonary veins which are bringing oxygen rich blood to the left atrium in the left atrium we can see four opening here from these veins and then from left atrium to left ventricle and this is the oxygen rich blood now this oxygen rich blood is supplied to different parts of the body and the blood vessel which is carrying blood from heart to different body parts are the artery so here we can see this is the aorta which is carrying oxygenated blood or we can say oxygen rich blood from heart to different body parts and here aorta is divided into different branches so these arteries supply the blood to different body parts these cardiac muscles contract and relax rhythmically like when uh, blood comes in the left atrium at that time this left ventricle is relaxed then left atrium will contract and pump the blood to left ventricle now left atrium is relaxed and left ventricle will contract to pump the blood to this aorta so this is a continuous rhythmic contractions and relaxation rhythmic contractions followed by the relaxation constitute a heartbeat heartbeat continue every moment of our life here you can see how this heart pump continuously or heartbeat continuously one can feel a human heart pumps around 70 to 80 times per minute so this is all about this video thanks for watching the video jai hind